So my buddy Larry challenged me to a smash burger contest. And my initial thought was, dang, wish it was a drinking contest. I'm a lot better at that, you know? Yeah. However, I have made a decent amount of smash burgers in my day. And though I don't know if I made one better than his smash burger, check out his video at the end. I do think I made one that has some easier tips that you can do with stuff you have hanging out in your fridge. And this is personally my favorite way to make a smash burger. Start this off with a poor man's special sauce that's uh, two tablespoons of mayonnaise going down there one tablespoon of mustard these are not exact measurements i'm just literally using a spoon and then one tablespoon of ketchup if you want it a little sweeter add more ketchup it's really just me like putting together all the condiments from my fridge a little bit of sweet pickle relish it's kind of like a suicide remember when you go to taco bell you mix all the pops together it's like a suicide of condiments important part here don't forget to stay hydrated very important part of making a smash burger and uh, we'll go ahead with the magic of YouTube, mix this all together in a couple seconds. Ooh, looking good. But we're not done with this yet. This part I like to add. My wife doesn't like it, but I like it. Hot sauce. Yeah. A couple little dabs of that, and you're good to go with your burger sauce. So I have some oil down on the griddle that's been on there since I turned it on. I'm trying to get nice and hot. It's right around 375, 380 there. And um, I wanted it to preheat with the griddle. I'm doing some french fries as well. It's my first time doing french fries. They turned out better than I thought they would. Let me know in the comments if you've done them before and uh, how you do them. I just kept it kind of around 375, got the oil hot, tossed all the fries in the oil. Then I spread them out real thin here and went ahead and turned up the heat a little bit just to make sure they got crispy. So went up to like medium, which is about as hot as I usually go because that gets me over 400. Uh, this ground beef was just extra that I didn't need for the burgers. I used it to make some sloppy joes. Little griddle tip. You got extra meat. Might as well cook it if you're turning that thing on. So here's my setup. That's off low. Then the next two are on medium to get the fries done and to get it nice and hot to sear these smash burgers. Mayonnaise. That's another tip. So we got our burger sauce that you can make out of the fridge. And then toast your buns with mayonnaise. These are easy tips to make a little upgrade to your smash burger, how I like to do them. And then here's the third one. I put a weight and I kind of smash down these buns and I'm gonna do them as like an inside out smash burger with the bun. This is from one of the restaurants I worked at in college. You'll see when I assemble it, it's kind of like what's normally the inside of the bun is now the outside. It's toasted like a toasted sandwich. It turns out great. I also put down some zucchini, trying to act like I'm healthy. Who are we kidding here? I'm not healthy. I just wanted to throw a vegetable in there just for my wife because she asked. Check on these buns here. I'm not quite there, but that side's off. So that's why I'm toasting them over there. I always do my buns low and slow. Keep them close to that off burner because they will burn real fast. Oh, that one doesn't look bad. Probably because it's closer to the other on burner. So do the switcheroo, rotate them around. There we go. They don't need to be pressed down anymore. They're flat enough. French fries, like I said, better than I thought, huh? not too shabby so i went ahead and individually flipped all of them the buns are looking good so you can see here yeah that's what we're looking for when you put the weight on there too it really gets them all toasted rather than sometimes you just get the edge of the burger bun you know what i'm talking about in the middle because it's not all touching the grill or the griddle so i'm gonna move them all to my warming rack and that's off make sure they don't keep cooking fries are looking good zucchini's done so this all turned out pretty well i'm not gonna lie i moved it all to the warming side made sure i'm nice and hot 460 getting ready for these smash burgers but first another thing i like to do with a daily household fridge item i like to drop an egg on the griddle put it over in the cool warm warming area so that it does not get burnt then down goes our smash burger balls we all know how to do smash burgers you put the little three ounce balls on there I'm using my big fat daddy spatula this time instead of my um, uh, weight. This is my first time using this. It worked out pretty well. I got this off of Amazon. It's a big old spatula. So you can kind of push it with the oil and spread it out. 
So you can see they got pretty thin. I still think the press is my favorite way to do it. Um, I'll probably start using the press again in the future, but I'm glad I tried this. The spatula worked. I'm gonna use it for pancakes sometime as well. A little salt and pepper. Our egg's coming right along. Everything else is staying warm. Go ahead and give the egg a flip. It's not the prettiest fried egg, but that's okay. It's going on top of a burger with cheese. Not the prettiest burger patties, but we got some good crust going on there, and that's all that we really care about with these smash burgers. Nice and hot, sear, get that crust is what we wanted. So all four of them, are, I'm doing double patties on these. A little bit of American cheese, because that's the way God intended you to eat a smash burger is with American cheese. Then we'll set up our buns here. So here, pay attention. Here's how we're doing this. So you can see that's like the top of the bun and that would be the bottom. And then those are the toasted insides. Well, the insides are gonna be on the outside. So go ahead and put the toasted part face down and then we will get our, bur our burgers, double up the patties. Oh, they are real messy, real messy. That's good, that's what we want. Nice and juicy, messy burger. Take that one off and then we're gonna go ahead and start working on our sauce here once we can slide it off the spatula. There goes our special burger sauce right on top. Holy smokes, look at these folks. Think I'm gonna have to wait till next week to start that diet I've been talking about. Though there is zucchini in this meal. If you wanna see another good burger, check out the onion burger, which is on your screen right now. Highly recommend you look at that video. And don't forget about Larry's video, which is also on your screen. Have a good one. Keep on griddling, folks.